Welcome to the National Multi-Secular Summit for Educational Transformation and Academe Alumni Industry Government Collaboration. The main objective of this AAIG 2021 webinar series is to catalyze the transformation of the Philippine educational landscape towards Education 4.0 by enjoining the academe, alumni, industry, and government sectors to come together in dialogue to adopt pioneering and collaborative practices in bringing the academe and industry gap and to continue to be an efficient and sustainable platform. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for this gathering of the members of the academe, alumni, industry and the government in order to hold meaningful conversations that will benefit the alumni of the university and all other graduates in whose hands the future of our country rests. Addressing these learning gaps in higher levels of education or within the school to work transition will require additional resources that may not be available to all educational institutions or industries absorbing the products of our educational system unless adequate government support are made available to both public and private sectors. You can now start thinking about how Industry 4.0 and the use of data in the internet is actually helping you to actually make better decisions, more reliable decisions, and at the same time, set a path for yourself. People need the ability to make sense of this information, to tell the difference between what is important, what is unimportant, and above all, combine many bits of information into a broad picture of the world. It is important that leadership skills of empathy, listening, finding your own purpose, communicating, and collaboration continue to be an important and fundamental part of the education system that we have, but also a very important part of the society that we continue to live in. A shared value relationship between educational institutions and companies, blueprinted probably by policymakers, can help facilitate workforce transitions. Fundamental to this preparation is expanding and enhancing the digital infrastructure in the learning space, including those who are studying remotely, such as China, Malaysia, India, and Singapore, in a quest to build their economies focused on offering STEM programs in their institutions. And so we must identify and correct long-standing imbalances in the educational systems. I believe now more than ever, smart and strategic industry and academic partnerships must be more integrated and value-enhancing to both. We have to transform the campus as a hub, not only for learning best practices, but the staging platform for next practices. This call for educators to urgently adapt to the needs of our times and respond to multiple adaptive and transformative challenges necessary for the revitalization of the vital roles of government, academe, and industry to actively involve in the discussion and co-create systemic and long-term solutions. This is an assertion of the Commission that tertiary education must espouse the notions, procedures, and processes of 21st century learning. The education of the new millennium connotes revolutionized approaches to realize excellent teaching and learning that are at par with international standards. May these catalyze further partnerships of the government and non-government agencies with the Commission on Higher Education as we continue to heal and learn as one. Regardless of what industry number that we will transition to in the future, all of these things that you have learned are actually very important and key to the success of our country and to, our, and to your own success. So please continue to leverage on these learnings. Please continue to reach out and continue to collaborate, not just with your students, but to the professors, to the teachers, to the industry that you want to belong with in the future. We have to all work together and we have to open ourselves to whatever opportunities ang kumating sa atin. At pag dumating ang opportunity na yan, 
you just have to blossom where you are planted and you will be rewarded with so many things sometimes unexpectedly uh, this is my commitment and this is my obligation to all our students that i will continue uh, uh, initiating projects and initiatives for for the CHED to properly address the, the concerns of our students in this COVID-19 pandemic and even the post-COVID life or post-COVID scenario. No? Thank you. Para mas simple lang, tingin ko may tatlong UST lang ang pwede mag-synthesize ng mga nangyari ngayong umagang to. You for me is understanding. Understanding is a generic term but it is quite a powerful term because it will allow us to, to know What is happening? Meron tayong nasyon na kailangan ng tao. I, I think it's a call for citizenship if you're going to ask me. The understanding should be transforming into some kind of a response. Kaya nga, paano naman tayo magre-respond? Yung pangalawa, skill. I think it's very important for us to gain skills and that the new educational era will be all about skills. More importantly, human skills, social skills. Relationship. Partnership is important. That communication is important. Dapat magsama-sama tayo. Ang isang policies, standards, and guidelines ay hindi lang ginagawa ng mga nagtuturo, subalit nagpa-practice din ng, ng profession. And T for me is technologies. Wherever you look at it, I think T, technologies, is something that weaves into the presentation of today's webinar. Whatever industry it would be, I know that we will continuously struggle. But in that struggle, if we understand, if we have the skill and we make use of good technologies, I think we are prepared to face what the post-COVID era will be for us.